Okay, people, it's me, King Human. Listen up. I got my duh cup out because I got somebody I'm going to crack on. <laughs> God damn, people make me mental. Okay, what's doing? First, let me set this down so I don't burn myself with my tea. And I got to grab this. Um, I want to go through, uh, well, I was going to go through a bunch of emails, but I can tell already. Oh, by the way, I got my fan on, so if that noise bugs you, go away! Okay. Um, I just got back from Vegas, and, uh, you know, I took a few days. I took the weekend to recover. It always takes me a few days to recover from Vegas. So, I started answering emails through the YouTube system, and YouTube has a new interface, um, and I started answering emails, I clicked send, and nothing happens. So, I gave up, because I don't know if you people are getting these things, I clicked send like five times, nothing happens. Maybe you got five of the same email from me, but anyway, I'm not going to spend my time trying to answer emails, and I'm not sure they're going out. So the hell with that shit. Okay, I tried. Plus, I mean, I got like 16,000. Oh, maybe I can see. No, I changed my page. I got like 16,000 emails in my YouTube system. I've got another maybe 3,000 emails in my private inbox and my King Human Elite inbox. There's no way I can answer those emails. And, and you know, just do the math. If I could take one second to answer, read and answer each email, I couldn't do it. So, you know, give me a break here. And I love you people that send me an email saying, King Human, I'm, I know you're busy, so I'll keep this short. And I open the email, and it's three freaking pages long, explaining why you're going to keep it short. Oh, please. I can't even look at those without getting a thrombo. Okay, anyway... I came across a comment that cracked me up uh, about a video I did on stocks. First of all, stay away from binary options. I told you guys this a million times. It looks juicy because it's so freaking easy. You can make money in one minute. Make money every minute. And they come out with these stupid freaking binary options bots that, oh, it, it's automatically going to make you money or, or advisories or whatever. Do yourself a favor. Don't even take my word for it. Go to the Securities and Exchange Commission website or the other official government websites and look at what they have to say about binary options. Don't believe me. I don't give a crap. Because every time I come out with a, a video on binary options or a scam, I get a bunch of people telling me I'm full of shit. Why? Because they want to believe money's going to magically fall from the sky. Oh yeah, you can hit a button and in one minute make more money than a doctor and a lawyer combined. All you got to do is just sign up, fund your account with $500 and just hit this button every minute. And you'll be rich. How likely is that, you idiot, you? Occam's Razor. Occam's Razor. Look it up. Okay. <laughs> now that I've done that, uh, I, I got to... <laughs> I was getting on to checking my stocks because I came back from Vegas. The whole time I was in Vegas, I haven't been checking my stock list while I was there. Those of you that know, I put out a stock newsletter where I recommend stocks based on my algorithms that I have programmed. I think I may be on to something. See, I said I think I might be on to something with my algorithms. Now, I've always traded stocks for years and years and years. Uh, and I've always made money, not wood. But only recently got serious about getting onto my trading platform and actually programming some algorithms to do some stock screening and, and actually get in there and hit some home runs or, or actually uh, pick winners. So anyway, I, got, I noticed some cheese ball made a comment about one of my videos. Now, in, in one of my videos, I got on there and I said, I'm a genius! I'm a genius! Well, I am a genius. Um, I'm picking stocks at like a 90-something percent success rate, and even fund managers can't do that. 
You know, why, don't, why aren't they knocking on my door offering me billions of dollars to become a fund manager? Anyway, some idiot <laughs> wrote a comment. I'll read it to you and then I'll give my answers. Okay. Uh, King Human, you're wondering why nobody in the investment industry have contacted you. Have. Have contacted you. I like to explain why. I like to explain why. I am working as a chief financial officer in a large investment bank. Well, let me know which one that is because you can't spell, you can't formulate a sentence. I, if my money's in that bank, I'm running out of there like a scalded f***ing dog. You idiot, you. Okay, here's why uh, nobody's breaking down my door. One. You have serious anger problem. Look up TAS. You idiot! I have no fucking anger problems, you asshole, you! Fucking idiot. Don't tell me I got an anger problem, you ass weasel. Fucking anger problem, you shithead. Okay. You talk to your audience in an insulting and arrogant way. Fuck you! I never do that. You asshole. Just because my audience is idiots, I wouldn't say it. Okay. Complaining too much in other videos. I never complain. Think you are a genius because you managed to get some trades right in a strong bull market where it's easy to make money. If it's so easy, you do it. Come out with a newsletter with your picks and in a week, two weeks, we'll look at your picks and see how good you are. You dumb shit weasel you. Um, and, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. That's why I tell people to paper trade my picks. I'm not telling them to go, go invest real money. You idiot, you. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Uh... uh should be smart enough to understand your results don't qualify for being a genius. It's just a bad joke. Shut up, you idiot. Okay. This is not the type of candidates we are looking for. This is not the type of candidates we are looking for. Again, great syntax, great sentence construction. You're looking for, what are you looking for? You're a men's room attendant. You're not a bank fund manager with this kind of sentence construction. This is not the type of candidates we are looking for. This is not the type of... Oh, my God. Why no one in the investment industry have contacted you. I like to explain why. Dude, there's no way in hell you're a bank fund CEO, CFO. You are a BFD. Big fucking deal. Uh, okay. Uh, Don't let it spoil your day. I'm just telling you the way it is. Shut up, you idiot. You're not telling me anything. You're an idiot. And, you, and the thing is, you don't see it. Well, I guess an idiot wouldn't. So, anyway, there you go. Okay, now I want to get on to my stock picks, my results, because that's what I do. Okay, um, going back just a little bit, uh, <coughs> the newsletter I... <coughs> ah, the newsletter I sent out previous to the last one uh, I recommend it. MU at $31.91. It's now $33.73. Now, again, I'm not telling you to go buy these stocks. These are results I'm giving you. If you're not subscribed to my stock newsletter, then you don't know what I'm talking about, so shut up. Okay. See? I never treat my subscribers with anything less than maximum fucking respect, so shut up. Um... Oh, that was the other thing. Hang on. Idiot. By the way, if you're a bank fund manager and you're too stupid to recognize satire, 
You're an idiot! Go look up the word satire, you dumb shit for brains. Oh, I dropped my list. You. I guarantee you everybody else watching this video understands what satire is. And they know what's going on. You dumbass. Okay. Uh, anyway, MU, <laughs> I, I recommend it at $31.91. I'm sorry, I don't have a date on it. Uh, today I looked it up. It's $33.73. PCAR recommended at $63.33. It's up to $67.25. SPWR, $38.56. I recommended it at. It's $39.90. And SWKS at $47.37. It's now $48.09. Now, I realize these aren't huge movements, but we're talking a couple of weeks. So when you compound that, when you amortize that over a year, that is a huge rate of return. I haven't done the math because I'm too f***ing lazy. Leave me alone. Um, in the previous newsletter, the one that just went out, I did a special report. It was, I was trying a new uh, parameter. Anyway, I only came up with two stocks. One was S-G-E-N. I recommended it at 41.44 and it's now 38.65. So that one's actually down. Uh, barf. Wait. Oh, wait for it. Oh, it won't come out. And the other one, HTA at 12.50. That's now 11.91. That's down slightly, but that is a long-term buy and hold recommendation, not a stock flip, which is, you know, I'm, I got basically three categories. I'm coming out with in my newsletter. Fast flips, long-term buy and hold stocks that pay a good dividend, and uh, I, I don't even, oh, special situations. Um, this HTA is a, is a health trust REIT, I believe. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's paying 4.68% dividend. So even though it's down, what, a dollar? No, less than a dollar. We're making it more than up on the dividend. So this is a long-term buy and hold. Now let me go to some of my previous picks here that I keep track of on paper. These are ones I may not send out, but they're here. Anyway, FFIB, no, FFIV. I recommend it on the 24th at a $109.46. I just checked it. It's $112.36. MU, again, uh, I recommended it on the 24th at $32.50. It's $33.73. NTAP, again, recommended on the 24th at $36.09. It's now $37.83. Now, we go into another category, AVEO, on the 24th. At a dollar fifty-eight, it's now a dollar seventy-nine. See, you see a trend here? They're all up. So shut up, you idiot. You know who I'm talking to. Okay, uh, this one I can't read. H L I T, I believe. At seven forty-four, I recommended it. It's now seven fifty-four. Not a huge move, but up is up. Uh, M E E T at two sixty-five. And now it's 281. Every single one of them is up, except that one was down. But I think that'll rebound. We'll see. And it was a test. It was just a test. Okay, now we're into my, what I call my day trade parameter. And again, MU at 32.50. That's 33.73. We already talked about that. NTAP at 36.09. It's now... 3783. Everyone. Up. Uh, everyone. 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 Um, and uh, uh, let's see. Oh, here's one. This is kind of a weird parameter that I'm just testing. Um, DEPO recommended at 1354 is now $14.19. BCOV at $10.12 is now $10.73. Anyway, just gives you an idea. Where can I put this? Just gives you an idea of what's going on in the King Human Genius brain. Oh, by the way, speaking of which, wait a minute, I gotta give this kid a shout because uh, he licked the crack of my ass pretty good with his suck up video. 
Um, his name is DD Swag. And he did a review about me, you know. Oh, let me pick this up. He did a review about me, which uh, was was pretty cool. I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to get recognized. Hey, man, I'm, I, I want to give the kids a hand up and get them seen and get them going. I don't know what he's about other than that one video I watched, which, you know, how many videos does he have? Uh... I don't know. I can't. I can't see anything on here. I, I'm going mental. Anyway, hopefully he's going to be putting up some quality material, and he'll be a big shot, and la di da di da. I don't know. I hope so. Good on you, kid. Um, anyway, um, that's about it. Um, dude, thanks for the comment about my stock picking expertise, <laughs> and thanks for entertaining me. With your stupidity, man, i got to look at this again. Why no one in the investment industry have contacted you? Uh, I am working as a chief financial officer in a large investment bank. Sure you are. If you're the janitor there, I would be surprised. Wow. What, what was the other one? Uh, this is not this is not the type of candidates we are looking for. Not, oh my God. This is not the type of candidate we are looking for. Or these are not the types of candidates we are looking for. Singular, plural, you know that concept? No, you don't, you fucking idiot. Uh, what else? I don't know. There were all kinds of, I mean, if this guy is a fund manager. What did he say he was? A CEO? Yeah, a CFO. This guy, if this guy's a CFO, I'm Mary Poppins. All right, people, long ass video from me. I guess because I'm full of energy now that I'm back. Had a great trip in Vegas. I'm all ready to go back. And don't forget, I am, uh, I'm really trying to put together something in Vegas, get a place over there where we can have seminars, personal one-on-one -on -one seminars, poolside. Um, and I want to mention a couple of things, too, before I go. Um, dude, uh, I got these two Samsung Galaxies. i got to ship them out. Uh, just to let you know, Sam, I haven't shipped it out yet. Uh, I'm on it. And then, um, uh, uh, who was the other one? Was, uh, oh, God. Uh, oh, Michelle. Here it is. Michelle, uh, your levitation thing, I haven't shipped that out yet either because i got to go find a bigger box. My sh I don't have any shipping boxes. I got rid of them all. I need to find a big one for your crap. Anyway, all right, people. Go away. Donate a few bucks to help a sick kid. St. Jude's Research Hospital for Kids helps sick kids. 18 minutes. Holy crap. Nobody watched it. Okay, go away. Bye.